former NBA superstar Allen Iverson once famously said, practice? What are we talking about? Practice? The Wachusa football team doesn't share Iverson's opinion of practice. The Mountaineers value every practice and every rep. You know, that's just where practice is very important. You know, we have to get ready. We have to, we have got to get the reps in. We can't dog it during practice. And we just got to get ready for the team that's ahead of us each week. Up front, we have a good uh, starting line. We have a lot of good athletes on the outside. But uh, we always have to try, strive to get better every single day and uh, become be, be able to have discipline on the field and just try to deliver on every single play. Every, every game is pretty much a playoff game for us because it's we're opening up with Doherty. I mean, that's probably going to be one of the best teams we face all year, anywhere. And, I don't know, it's just going to be a long process, a lot of hard work. All right, so Wachusett opens up their season against Doherty. That is going to be a great, great football game. Football is a game of confidence. When you have it, you win games maybe you shouldn't. And when you don't have it, games can slip away. Worcester State has experience and confidence. We saw uh, a lot of our younger kids come on and step in and play towards the end of last season. Uh, we had a couple uh, big wins against teams we, we hadn't been successful against before. So it's uh, you know kind of building on that and uh, you know get it even improved from last year. Definitely lost some, left some wins on the table. Um, well, what our biggest focus is is not shooting ourselves in the foot and giving the giving games away because that's kind of what our issue was in those in those few losses that we had. So um, definitely looking to improve on that. Offensive, defensively, I think I think we have a good run to uh, do just just as well, if not better, and uh, hopefully get the the, the big uh, the big end end goal, and that's to uh, win win the uh, the Mascac. All right, so Worcester State opens up their year taking on Salve Regina. That one will be a good, good test. On a football field, small details can make a big difference. For Assumption, everything you do in practice matters, from the way the team stretches to the energy level in drills to the focus in 11 on 11 scrimmages. Our goals are still focusing on the little things. Um, that core group of fifth-year seniors, we're kind of uh, honing in on that small things mentality and really foot on the line type stuff, finishing drills. Uh, we can't let anything go. No stone is unturned and we're just, we're grinding each day and everyone's getting better together. We don't, we don't talk about anything about how we're gonna improve from period to period. You know, we use, we focus on our individual sessions as being segments that are devoted to improving, you know, individual technique and execution and assignments. And then we, you know, just keep building into our group and unit periods on into our team periods. Um, you know, so we're looking on, uh, you know, I don't even look to tomorrow yet. I just want to finish, finish today and make sure that we finish today in the best possible way. All right, Assumption opens with a big test as well as they take on Cutstown in week one. The Holy Cross football team is opens up their season one week from this Saturday at Colgate. Now, the players are still learning new systems, but most importantly for head coach Bob Chesney, they are building a foundation of competition. I think it's been pretty even. You know, I think that the offense, we keep score of everything. I think the offense is ahead by like five points, and there's like five scoring opportunities every single practice. So it takes one practice, and the other team, you know, defense could be right back in the mix. So I like the way we're doing it. I like the way we're keeping score. I like the way they're competing. They're in it every single day, and we just got to continue to keep taking steps, you know, into not only, again, I say it, the physical and the mental, but also the compete levels. They just have to rise. When you cross over that white line, it's got to mean everything to you, and I think that's what they're doing a good job of about progress, right? It's how much how much progress can we make in this short period of time uh, installing it with some of these younger guys. We're going to be relying on some younger guys at times and how much do they know, what's the depth at which they know it. And I think offensively we're throwing quite a bit at the defense. I think defense is throwing quite a bit at the offense and I think there's a lot in there that hopefully gets slowed down a little bit and simplified as we go from you know week to week and have a game plan. Right now we're just kind of throwing it all out there. And again, so Holy Cross opens up their season a week from Saturday at Colgate. Colgate, preseason-wise, top 20 team. So it's a big, big test for the Crusaders. Coming up this Friday, it is our college football frenzy. It's our college football preview edition of the frenzy. Join Andy Lacombe and myself as we take you around Central Mass. And we'll check in with all the local colleges and also head out to UMass and Boston College and check in on some friend, frenzy alums, some of the Central Mass guys that are making big contributions over there at BC and UMass. So that's this Friday night at 10.30 p.m. We're almost, almost ready to kick it off for real. We're getting closer and closer with each passing day. 
the high school teams and the college teams ready to go. I was going to say, can you believe that it's already football season? No, it's crazy. It is because you feel like the summer is going to go on forever. And then oh, yeah. all of a sudden like that, you blink. Now they're back out on the field. And it's like, well, preseason camp's a month. It's three mm -hmm. weeks. And all of a sudden now it's like, we're game planning because it's a week away from our opener. I know, it's unbelievable. It's they must be getting pumped for yeah, their they first are. games. Yeah, they definitely are. And then fingers crossed for every coach is that everyone stays healthy over this last 10-day, one-week stretch. I know, that's always the tough part. But it looks like it's going to be nice weather, so that's good. That is good. Okay. They'll take <laughs> they that. They have that going for <laughs> They'll them. take yeah. that. They'll, they'll thank the weatherman, and then hopefully the god of, uh, of injuries will smile down upon them as well. Yeah, they go hand in hand, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.